Good afternoon guys and happy Saturday to all of your sunshiny faces. I told you guys I'd share with you guys the haul from the um, other two grocery stores from Valley Produce and Aldi today um, that we ended up going to. So we got some good amount of stuff. We got a good amount of produce items at Valley Produce. A couple of extra things too at Aldi that were on sale over there. Um, and again just some other you know random things and stuff like that. So um I have to add up what everything ended up costing at Aldi. We ended up spending, I believe, under 40 bucks. And at Valley Produce, I know we spent under $40 as well. And I believe it was under $30 at each of the two stores yesterday. So I'm actually going to go double check that before I flip this around for you guys and tell you guys what it ended up costing. Maybe it was under 30 at Aldi. We didn't really get hardly anything almost at Aldi. Just a couple of, again, little fill-in things that we needed from um, the store that, you know, again, we didn't get or, you know, was cheaper obviously getting there. So, like I said, guys, I'm going to go check that out real quick and then share with you guys all. So this was Aldi haul sort of over on this side. That was $33 on the button. And then over at Valley Produce over here, this was $38.03. Um, $38 um, so this was the stuff pretty much over here. And the pineapple in the middle was from jewel or no caputo's yesterday and then again <laughs> there's a couple other little things in there but in total for all the stuff between uh, all four grocery stores we ended up going to for this week was a hundred and twenty seven dollars and twenty five cents so again we were like really good i think budget wise this week and then on top of that too i also got six pounds of you know chicken breast that'll do to make freezer dinners um you know and then again a handful of other stuff that we you know um can make two and then I think we're gonna grill tonight so that's why we got hamburgers um, hamburger buns and then um, you know we have some of that stuff that's obviously already frozen as you guys saw when I stocked up on those fresh pub like burgers so I'll start over at Valley Produce first and share with you guys the deals over here again with sort of this stuff over on this side around over to here was all 30 38 whatever um, so we got a thing of this is for the birds actually peanuts they're $1.99 a pound. It was about a pound and a half, so it's three bucks for that. The toilet paper, which again, kind of one of the first deals on the um, toilet paper that I got. These are supposed to be like maxi rolls, I think, or something like that. Like, supposed to be like the big, I think it's like the ply. I think it's three ply or something like that, maybe. Um, that these were uh, $5.99, which is, I think it all these $4.99. So it's a dollar more, but again, I think the ply is thicker on these ones than, which you use less than, <laughs> um, versus, you know, the, um, what's it called? The, um, the stuff at Aldi, so for a dollar more. But like I said, I feel like you get a little bit more per roll. So that was um, with the Inag coupon. There was a couple of Inag coupon items. That, and then also to the, this tomato juice was 99 cents. Inag coupon, the Pop-Tarts were $1.50 for the big 12 count. Um, that was for, uh, with the Inag coupon. The High C was 99 cents with the Inag coupon. And the Green Mountain K-Cups were $3.99 with the Inag coupon, um, which is a really good price too. We did get the, I told you guys when we bought the Keurig, we did like that subscription, you know, um, thing and um they work out to be i don't remember the exact price per k cup but i think it's around because we get it's a 24 count so i think it's about five dollars per um you know what would be i think it's like 10 or 11 dollars per 24 pack which is about five dollars so anytime that i can get k cups then under that is what i know is a pretty good price um so and that depends too on the brand so like the green mountain and a couple other ones are better at that price the um starbucks brand a 12 pack i believe or maybe they sell them in 10 packs no i think it's 12 pack um would be better because i think those I, on the keurig's website are like 12 something so anything under five bucks for those for a 12 pack is a good price so it just again depends on the brand sort of but um normally the more expensive brand tends to be more expensive so again it just kind of depends on what i'm looking at and i'm normally the only one that drinks a starbucks coffee so my parents like all this fancy sort of like flavored stuff i like just plain regular old you know like coffee house kind of 
of um, coffee that's not flavored and doesn't taste, you know, like other things. Um, then two, this wasn't really on sale or anything, but I am pretty much out of limes. So I got five limes that were a dollar. Um, it was 10 for $2, I think. Normally I get them 10 for a dollar, sometimes 20 for a dollar. Um, but they didn't have um, any really good sales and I was out. So I got those. Uh, like the Yukon potatoes, three pound bag was $1.99. Um, red peppers, I didn't see that these were on sale, but when I got to the store, they were only 99 cents a pound, so I grabbed two of those. Green peppers were 48 cents, I think, or something like that a pound. I grabbed two of those, because we do kind of have a, a lot of bell peppers. Um, onions, which we don't have anywhere, $1.50 for the three pound bag, which is about 50 cents a pound. And then the lettuce was 99 cents. The, um, uh, avocados were 69 cents maybe a pound and then the Roma tomatoes I think were 49 48 cents maybe per pound so that in total ended up being like I said about the 38 bucks for all that stuff oh and then also to the meat so we got a three about three-fourths a pound of the um, this is oven roasted chicken and then also ham off the bone that was uh, also about the same thing they were $3.99 each per pound, but we got a little less than, you know, a little more than half a pound, a little less than a full pound. And then for the um, yellow American cheese, we got a full pound that was $3.99 per pound. Also, so those were the other things we threw in there. Now, with the in-egg coupons, they had to be a $20 purchase. Um, so we ended up getting that up there with those other items. And then over at um, Aldi, so I think these are like seasonal, like the organic soups that they carry. Because they used to have them, I think, for the most part year round but I think they do now only have them like you know sort of like more soup season which is like fall into um you know like winter and spring even um but normally during the summer they don't have them so I have not had these these are my favorite kinds especially the Aldi brand ones too I love those over really in almost any of the other like brands like even the Amy's um and Let's see what else. I think Walmart has their own brand lentil soup, the Progresso soup. I like this, um, the Simply Nature kind the best. Also too, because I do my, which is what I need the limes for, the garbanzo bean, avocado, chickpea. Um, it's chickpeas, avocados, limes, and feta cheese. My mom just bought me an extra thing of feta cheese, so I was like, I can definitely use up some of that stuff. I think I still have a couple cans in the pantry, so I just grabbed another two just in case. Um, also, too, we just ran out of garbage bags where we have to use contractor bags, so we got some of those. Um, salsa, I told you guys, too, I was going to do two salsa chickens this week, two barbecue chickens, and two... I forgot the third thing that I was going to do, but... Um, I think I have it written down, hopefully. Um, but uh, I have one in the pantry. I'm going to use this other one and make those into salsa chickens. And then two avocado, or not avocado, guacamole for myself. I do these when I do my quesadillas, um, which is why I also got some of the big fajita-sized tortillas. Um, two of the little asparagus risottos. These are like sort of like instant. You could just do them on the stove. Um, and again, they're nice because they're like individually sort of packaged and I can have these and make them for myself for a, like I said, dinner or something like that. And then the produce we ended up getting was oranges. I think it's a three pound thing for like 250. Bananas, these were 40 cents for the four of or three of them. And then grapes were 89 cents a pound, I think. And then again, hamburger buns, these um, these ones, which are the nicer ones we ended up getting, I think are $1.99. Regular hamburger buns are under a dollar. Um, the knock your sprouts off bread, which we really love is I think $2.99 whole wheat bread was like under $1.50 I believe and then these I don't know the price of but that's what we ended up getting there um, for 33 bucks even. So again those were um, the, the haul from today so um, I actually think um, I'm going to get this stuff put away and then we're going to start our outside bird sanctuary project i will share with you guys most likely sort of hopefully the process of getting it done probably going to be a two-day thing just because we have to um do all the wood stain it sand it um some of it we're using is already but some of it we're repurposing wood so we need to sand it and then stain all the wood and then also um what's i gonna say we need to um make the uh the cement like pillar sort of things so we need to let that sit and that will most likely take a little while um it, it's it's like instant cement but it will most likely honestly too it's uh i think it's 
24 hours or something like that to wait to walk on but that's not what we're doing so it's like an instant set like it should be ready in like 20 minutes so we normally wait a little while longer though for it to dry um so it's not shouldn't most likely take all day long but um again we'll see how that winds up working out and how long we should wait for it so um i will share with you guys that process but i gotta get this stuff again put away i'm gonna take a shower actually now and get to bed um it is a little after 11 o'clock i stayed up a little bit later just so that i could try and get some more of my paper um finished up and i did i have probably add a little bit more and then about one paragraph left so most likely pretty <laughs> pretty easy so far it has been actually not that hard I told you guys too I was like most likely once I actually get all the info and like the template sort of you know my topics and all that kind of stuff laid out it should be smooth sailing it pretty much has been um like I don't have to put that much time into actually writing it um so again I got a good amount done that I needed to for that as far as the project we we're working on for today goes the only thing we were able to actually get done was um we got the wood all cut um the four main posts all stained um and then what else did we do my dad also had to sand all of them too um because we were i think i was telling you guys using repurposed wood um but more than likely what we have to do tomorrow is probably either we're gonna try and run out to old time pottery and see if they have we need to get pots um and they need to be big enough to be able to fit the concrete from the post that we're putting in because we're not actually going to put it in the ground so we're making them out of concrete and then on top of that too um we're also we uh, need them so that we're going to have plants in them because we're going to make it so that we're going to do trumpet vine and morning glories and moonflowers as well um so we need to have enough room that they can actually grow in the in the pots so that it's not completely taken up by the cement that we need to the cement posts that we need to put in there um so again there's a handful of different kind of limitations that we're working with with, with but um i couldn't find any that i liked online um and like most of the stores don't have four they have like one or two i think maybe one variety had three between like home depot um i think i looked at lowe's and at um my goodness guys my hair is like a crazy hot mess right now um and at menards as well um but i didn't see like i said any more than one variety so we'll check at um old time pottery i think they open at 10 in the morning so we can again go at some point but if they don't have what we're looking for then what we're going to do is most likely build just like a planter box sort of what we've done with our um raised garden beds and um basically turn that into so that the dirt is actually also to like so somewhat of the support um because it'll be you know like in the ground from it it'll be weighed down by the cement um again that what we're doing um but again in the long run to to have more support so that it doesn't tip or tilt or anything like that actually having it in some type of dirt also and then too so it looks nice and aesthetically pleasing it doesn't just look like bricks of concrete outside um you know supporting the post so that it looks nice and again to the idea that we have of what we're doing with this um so we again have to do that so we're gonna go run over there and see if maybe they don't have four good size big pots so the other thing too is that some stores do have more than one variety um uh, you know or more than one of like the the same variety i guess if that makes sense but most of them are ceramic or uh like uh clay and what happens is over time um especially in the winter and especially here where we are they will wind up expanding and then cracking so um they're not good long-term solutions <laughs> um so the best long-term solution really would be the wood that we can treat and also stain along with um what is that called um you know or if we can find either some really good plastic ones or wooden ones also um because they do have like the wooden i think they're like called whiskey barrel ones or something like that i'm sure you guys might know what i'm talking about but it's something like that i can't remember the name as i was looking them up today um but sort of just like the barrel pots um so i was looking those up too which are 
not super cheap for again the size we need they're like upwards of 60 to 100 dollars each <laughs> so I was like yeah no that's probably not gonna work so um you know we can also use like fiberglass ones but it, it, in plastic and you know that kind of stuff again looking for better quality because it's probably something that we're not going to move over time so we want one that will last for a while so anyways long story short i couldn't find a whole ton that i loved online so we're either going to build one which will be cheaper in the long run be a little bit more time consuming because we're gonna have to you know stain the wood and everything like that because we want it to all match um and then to just for extra protection all that kind of stuff from the elements but also to um we'll we'll go and look at old time pottery tomorrow and see what they have because i don't really know um but because it is sort of the end of like you know it's turning into fall now they might have them on clearance which would be really good but they also might not have a lot in stock so um again we'll check tomorrow but that's the one thing that we have to go and do so we didn't honestly like get a whole ton put together it was more of like just the little things that we had to do and stuff like that but as always whenever we're doing a big project we have to run back out to Monar menards multiple times and my dad went during the week too to get the cement um that we needed the um all the wooden pieces the extra wooden pieces that we needed that we didn't already have because we were using some pre-existing wood um and you know repurposing it and stuff like that but we did need a, a handful of pieces that we don't have the right sizes for so um again there's uh, maybe i'd say about uh, about half of it maybe was stuff that we did have to buy and then the other half was stuff that we had but again we had to get a couple of different types of um wood screw or wood screws i think my dad's gonna use nails and then also too we did need to get a couple anchors just because my dad wants to make sure it's really secured in there and all that kind of stuff so um we did have to get some of those and again it took us a while today too because we couldn't find what we were actually looking for when we went to menards because it was really difficult to find the kind that we needed but the exterior kind like everything seemed like it was interior we couldn't find any of the exterior stuff and they had like a very small selection it seemed like of what the kind of pieces we were looking for so anyways i will it might not be done by tomorrow i don't we still have a lot left to do like even getting the cement set and all that kind of stuff will take a little while so we have that to do tomorrow and then um you know like i said whatever we can get done um but it it most likely won't be that difficult like we can probably still keep putting pieces together during the week um you know like get some of the beams screwed in or something like that or some of the stuff set up or whatever like actually during the week so um I can share with you guys that but i don't see it being like we might finish it by next weekend but um again that was something i actually think was gonna be a bigger project and it hasn't turned out to be as big of a project but the other thing too is that we're also going to wind up doing another thing that we don't have any of the pieces for and we're going to wait till it's actually built to figure out the measurements for it so again i'll share with you guys all of that as it happens most likely um and sort of the updates on that but it's something that's kind of the first thing that i feel like we other than the cabinet drawer we built our first actual big like building project i guess sort of um where it's actually something that we're sort of making ourselves that isn't just like an easy like oh throw a couple of things together with the screw like it's actually sort of a structural thing if that makes sense and like you know um I don't know a little bit different than again what we were actually you know you know it's just not a store-bought thing or a simple easy made thing so anyways guys I will share with you guys that though as we wind up um again sort of you know getting on with all of that project stuff but I will see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's so make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love if you'd subscribe and I'll see you all over some chain pieces tomorrow so bye guys